Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do the uh, vocation releases for August. I am up till this week. So they started off on the second of August. They released. They did a triple release. <coughs> they did a couple of two battle aged beers. There was a coconut porter and there was an imperial champagne stout, which I'm going to do a bit further on in the week um, and then they did they also released this and this is vocation special edition espresso martini tiramisu um it's called tuscan trifle i say it's, a, it's a espresso martini tiramisu stout big mouthful there and um, this beer is 10 percent abv it says that on the bottom there um best before this is the 7th 24th so july 24th um, i'm not too sure what this costs i didn't look on the website before it came on um but it would have been anything short of just just below six nicker so maybe 550 five quid something like that six it was 650. i am um, I, I can't remember i say i didn't look so on the back it says everybody's two favorite uh pick-me-ups combined with a double shot um, imperial stout I should combine it into one double shot imperial stout rich coffee and cocoa smooth and decadent imperial stout spiked with rich roast espresso bitter dark chocolate and a lingering liqueur boozy heat excellent because I like an espresso martini it's one of my cocktails of choice if I get into a cocktail bar it's usually a long island iced tea and then it'll be an espresso martini I um, like tiramisu so let's go for it i've got i'm going to drink this out of a wine glass and um, because i haven't got a vocation don't do their own techno glass so let's pop a top and let's see what we've got i did buy three of these one for me one for mrs b and that and one one for the old, uh, the old toy chest which is right there let's get it into the glass and see what we've got going on Oh, that'll do for now. Okay, so being the last one, have we got a lovely black coloured beer. We've got just over a finger of tanned head. Then you know what? It's got a, the head on it. Looks kind of like a mochaccino type head, cappuccinoy, mochaccinoy, only with that tan colour. Looks really, really good. You can tell. That there's a bit of coffee in there it just looks like it. it looks dark it looks unctuous let's go for it with the body let's go for the um the nose let's get it get it oh yes oh that is beautiful yeah coffee all the way there is a hint of booze in there Roasted malt, dark chocolate, yeah, it's all there. A little bit of sweetness, it smells absolutely amazing. Right, let's go for the body carbonation. Cheers. Oh my days, that's good. That is not as heavy as I thought. Oh wow. That's oh, 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 that is that is really good. That is not as thick and as heavy as I thought it was gonna be. Um, if I'm being honest, that was going to be proper thick, hefty, oily, but it's not. It's it's medium bodied. It is still slick. It is still velvety. Beautiful. It has. It does have that liqueur feel to it. It really does. Carbonation is 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 nil. This is excellent, excellent. Right, let's go for a big taste. Cheers. That's outstanding, absolutely outstanding. Big coffee, espresso, right up front, and it lingers around. Roasted malt comes in underneath all that. 
there's a little bit of a there's a little hint of sweetness just popping away through. There's a little bit of vanilla in there. I think that's what that's what the sweet sweetness is. There's dark chocolate in there. There's a little bit of the edge, but then again, there's a again that sweetness from from this little vanilla pops. Kind of you th think is that milk chocolate? And it does have that lovely warm alcohol feel of my tea. That is excellent. That is so good. So good. I hope they take whatever's left of this and I hope they put it into a bottle. And I hope they, they, they battle age this because it deserves to be battle aged. This is absolutely outstandingly good. Wow. I said, and the body's a surprise for me because I thought this is going to be thick and thick and heavy and it's not. It's, it's like it's really medium bodied. In fact, I didn't even go as far as say it's light to medium bodied. It's just gorgeous, sweet, coffee, dark chocolate, milk chocolate. It's got a little bit of a creaminess to it. Oh, yeah, it's rich. It's it said it's rich. It's decadent. It's proper unctuous. It's a beautiful, beautiful drop of beer. Like I say, I hope you do stick that in a bottle because that is just absolutely out of this world for vocation. It's really good. That's one of the best things vocation have made in a very, very, very long time. That is just quality. So this is vocation's uh, Tuscan trifle, an espresso martini tiramisu stout. Coming in at ten percent, do I like it? Yes. Would I buy this again? Yes. Would I recommend this to friends? Without a shadow of a doubt, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It really is. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to the vocation website in the description box. Do that for the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there. See you in the next one. Stay late. Stay safe. Drink good beer. Hey, Dale.